Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today we're almost at the end here, day number 10. And today is going to be a really quick and easy one, how to create this nice reflection effect here at the bottom. Let's turn it off. We have this presence jumping into the screen. And if I turn this on, we have this reflection effect. Let's turn off the kind of water effect, this nice reflection effect here. It's really easy to do, but it looks really nice. It's some nice results. And then we can add some nice water kind of uh, effect to it as well. So here we have our clean composition. So in this composition, we have our background, which is the yellow background here. We have all of these presents, whoops, all of the presents and all the nails and all the animation for that. You can, of course, download this file for yourself and open this up and see how I animated this. I'm not going to go into detail right now, but you can kind of learn from this if you download the project for free on Patreon. And we have this background here on the front. Let's call this actually foreground, <laughs> not background. So there is the foreground, so it's uh, in front of all of these presents. And we're going to have, want this reflection to be on this shape here. So to create this reflection, we're going to select all of these layers and pressing Command D to duplicate all of them and then pulling them up. So we're all in the same uh, spot here. And then we're going to press Command Shift C or right click and go to Precompose to make this kind of a composition. Let's call this reflection layer. So there we have the exact the copy of this of these other uh, presents here. So everything is moving the same here. But we're going to right click, go to transform and then flip vertical. And we're going to drag this down and just place it. Let's zoom in here, place it. Yeah, maybe perfectly on it like that. And then or we can you can leave a little space in between if we have kind of this reflection, this floor here, but we're going to put it exactly there. We're going to press T for opacity. Turn it down to maybe 30 or even 20 maybe. And then I'm going to, uh, let's put it back. So now what happens is we get this reflection here, but it's going in the upward direction, of course, here, because it's not going behind this foreground right now. So I'm going to give this a, um, a track match. I'm going to duplicate the foreground, pressing Command D, placing it above my reflection layer above yep and then reflection layer i'm going to go to my track mat here and go to alpha mat foreground 2 so it's only visible within that foreground shape here so it's not visible here above here so now we've got that covered so that's finished that's nice but now it's going to need to fade out a bit so we're going to select my layer zoom out a bit and then go to my uh, rectangle tool and click and drag a shape around it like this so now we have it's cut out, cut off right there but I'm going to press F on my keyboard to open the feather options for the mask and drag this out and kind of feather this line out here. Not too much. Let's put it at, uh, let's put it at 250. So that looks kind of great. So that's, that's already basically it. That's just a really simple uh, reflection effect. Of course, maybe drag this up a little bit to make it a little bit less heavy. You could uh, place this down a little bit. We have kind of a gap in between if you would like. Uh, maybe it's, if it's standing on water, like we're going to do now, if you go uh, add a new effect to it, we have kind of this ripple, water ripple effect uh, thing going on it's a, with a turbulent displace effect. And uh, so we're going to go to help and type in turbulent displace. And it's below uh, the distort button here. And uh, we're going to, because turbulent displace kind of warps and wobbles everything, Let's put, turn the displacement to horizontal displacement. So it's going from um, upwards. And then the amount, let's put that at 500 and put the size at 3. So we get this nice kind of watery effect. And the complexity maybe can also be at 3. No, it's too much, 2. Nice. All right. And then we need this to animate because now it's not moving. It's just standing still. We want to animate this. So we're going to go do that with the offset here. And um, the offset, we're going to turn here and create a keyframe and put the offset right there, kind of. And then way over here, we're going to click again here and put it there. So it kind of moves a little bit. And we're also going to give this some evolution. So click on that stopwatch here and on the same spot over there click on let's say one so we get this nice animation here of the water kind of I mean, it's like way too fast so i think we can uh, go to the evolution here and instead of one let's just make this like a little bit 
not maybe maybe a quarter of the way there. So yeah, just play around with those parameters to make it a lot less fast, of course. And I think that this one is also going way too fast. So let's put the second one just over here or something. So just make it go really slow. Or you could make this comp a lot longer. Let's make this comp like a minute long and just drag these out, these guys. So now the water is moving very slowly, as you can see. Turn it back, it's a little bit faster. So just play around with how fast you want this water to move. And then you have this really nice effect. So that's basically how you can create this uh, nice reflection effect. All right, this was day number 10. We're almost at the end here. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.